Hi Vogue, Stella here, and I'm here to show you my go-to smoky eye. I've prepped my skin, I've done a little bit of concealer, and um, I'm just gonna get right into the eye. I like to use this MAC, I think it's coffee color. It's just really good because it's very smudgy and can get kind of greasy and kind of, I don't know, makeup for me, I don't mind if it's not completely perfect. I like to have you know, especially if I'm just doing it myself and I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. I don't I don't really care if it's like a little imperfect because I think that's kind of cool and sexy. This pencil's good, it kind of moves around easily and I can just kind of get in there and like mess it up a little bit. At school, even when I wasn't meant to, I would always sneak on a little bit um, just because I like to play around with makeup and I think it's, it's kind of just something fun and you can really like change your face and it's kind of like getting into like a different character. And you know what, it's just gonna be a little bit grungy, which is okay. I don't know, I just think it's fun to like play around with your, you know, your face and ultimately I think it's just there to kind of make people feel more confident. You know what a good trick is if you close your eye and just smush it in and then blink a lot, it sets into your waterline really well. A chic grungy. Boom, boom. I've never um, plucked my eyebrows. For some reason when I was young, I thought my eyebrows were fine, but they were very bushy, but now I'm kind of thankful. I have this like palette from Pat McGrath's um, makeup line, which I'm obsessed with. I would love my smoky eye to look a little bit like wet and like a little shimmery. And she has amazing kind of shines and um, highlights. And if I just put a little bit right in the middle, just like adds a little pop of like wetness and shine. And I'm lucky enough that I've worked with her and her team a lot that I've kind of seen how they use their products. And yeah, they always told me just put a little bit right in the middle of your eyelid. And it just kind of brings out the, you know, makes it not too heavy and not too, too dark and smoky. A little bit of lip balm on this highlighter I'm obsessed with. We use this on nearly every fashion show that I do with her. She told me about mixing them, so you mix both sides. So one's kind of a greasier side, and then this side is kind of more shine. And you can just use it as a highlighter on your cheekbones. You know, I think, especially if you're fair and with like blue eyes, I think about makeup is like you have to kind of know what works for you and your face. Then you can always kind of go to like your safe zone and do what you feel comfortable with. So I travel a lot and I always bring with me this rose water. It's just a mist, you can buy it at um, like Whole Foods and um, I'm sure a lot of like drugstores. But it's just really natural, it's got um, you know nothing crazy strong in it, it's just super neutral. And I think these kind of products are amazing to use when you're traveling and especially going in and out of like hair and makeup every day. My skin gets really dry, especially on the plane. So I kind of just put a little mist on and it just kind of helps your makeup set too. It's just, it kind of refreshes everything and makes it not look too, too cakey. You know, imperfections are great and you can definitely just cover them. The perfect amount of like coverage. It's never like too crazy heavy. Cool. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. This is an ours. Makes you look a little bit more alive. If it's hectic, it's better. Like I said, imperfect is perfect. I'm gonna just curl my lashes. So next, mascara. This is also Pat's, it's like a new mascara. Um, I like to do like a couple of layers of mascara. I think you can never have enough mascara. <laughs> I'm not the best at doing this. You know, it's about layering it and, you know, the clumps are kind of badass. They're kind of cool. get it in your eye. <laughs> do a little bit on the bottom as well. I don't always do the bottom, but I think right now, because we're gonna go out. How are we looking? Okay, cool. Look 
what's next. I like to do some liner on my lip. Try to follow my own lip line. I kind of put it everywhere. Um, Cause I think it just gives like a little definition. Especially, yeah. I'm using a color called Ochre. I think it's MAC. More of like a beigey, neutral lip is kind of nice with a smoky eye because then you're not too, too, too done. Perfect. Finally, I'm gonna put a little powder. Just sets it. This is Laura Mercier's um, translucent powder. Um, they use this on shows a lot. Um, just because I think it has no color in it and it just kind of makes sure everything's pretty set and not too shiny. Because if you sweat and get shiny, it's, you know, can get a little out of control. We're pretty set. Take my hair. It's cool for tonight. Okay guys, that's the final look. What do we think? Not too bad. Not too bad for a non-professional. Thanks for watching.